Our wash holes been around, so we're plumbing up our 525 tank. Um, I want to show you, so we're doing this bulkhead. Um, I'm sorry. We've got a one inch threaded um, double male. So we'll go ahead and Teflon tape both sides of this and we'll go ahead and leave this part threaded in. Um, we're going to put this, we've already put the first float valve in there. You can see that's hanging in there. Um, we're going to put them next to each other. Just a couple things that I like to do. First of all, you got your hole saw. This is a different style one. Just any hole saw will work. But you want to make sure that it's just big enough to go around those threads. You don't want a whole lot of space. Otherwise, you're going to end up with leaks, especially if it's a lower spot. This being the top and being for a float valve, it's, it's really not anywhere near as important. Um, some people do like to take the filter out. We're going to leave this filter in there just as an extra way. The way these things work, when the water gets full enough, it pushes on there. That's it. Shuts the water flow off, and that's it. Um, the other trick that I like to do, instead of having to vacuum out the bottom of the tank, uh, which you can see we've got some gunk in there already, uh, we're going to throw a little bit of bleach in there, kill all that mildew, um, is to just get a large cup. We'll hold that underneath, right like so. You can kind of see where I'm at right there. So that when we when I drill in all those shavings that could potentially mess up a check valve, um, could get into and mess up your nozzle or whatever else, um, it eliminates that. So make sure that you put it certainly with these um, flip valves that they're obviously all the way at the very top. Um, if you've got a smaller tank, there are different styles that you know. The way that these two are, that's probably knocking out about 50 gallons of the capacity of this tank. Um, but we'll be just fine. We're having two fills, one of them, um, it doesn't really matter, but one of them will be always being filled. The other one will only be, if we need it, we'll have a second hose run back to our hose reel that's over there. Um, you can see this one inch line that's going to come up all the way to this and then go down into it. Um, so we'll just have a second one if we need to to fill it faster but that's pretty much how we're going to do it um, also with these the threading is reverse so instead of lefty loosey it's lefty tidy so we'll remove that all the way there are a couple of things in here so you've got obviously the two main big plastic parts you've got a rubber gasket and then this um, you know flexible plastic one so let's Oops, going the wrong way. So, take that all the way off. So, these two pieces and this part will all be down at the bottom. The rest of this is going to go up top. And you can see this is nice and tight. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and cut the hole. And be right back. Alright, so I've gone ahead and threaded that. Just do as much of this threading as you can. I, and I could probably go ahead and put that onto it too. Um, and actually, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so that when we go to just put the bulkhead on top, we don't run that risk of dropping uh, the float valve inside of it. This is obviously still already tidy on it. And one second. Alright, so I've already gotten a lot of the, the loose shavings and stuff off of this while the cup was still there. You want to do that. And now we're going to put the flip valve in from the bottom. Again, you want that nice and snug. I'll try and do this. All right, so I went ahead and just held that from underneath. You need to use two hands. Twisted this to counterclockwise to tighten it. And now this is solid, that's solid. Again, we'll run our one inch pipe. We're gonna put um, bulkheads also for the bypass lines. Um, but again, by reducing the amount of shavings, and I know you wouldn't be able to really see it, but um, all those shavings that are in there, most of them would have been in my tank if I hadn't caught them with this cup. So just go to your any drink. Um, it's nice too with the size tank here. Sometimes you'll have a little bit smaller and it's it's a bit more challenging when you're doing it with like a 55 gallon drum. Um, but there are ways around that or you just plan to take a shot vac and vacuum out all those plastic shavings when you're done. That helps guys.